What's up guys, StudFit here. Back by popular demand, we have a Strat of the Week, this time on Cheap Cheap Island T. I'm an island boy. That's right, this is during the space tour, week one, we have Cheap Cheap Island T. You might be using a number of drivers. I'm using Kangaroo Yoshi. It is a, it's a, it's a great driver for this track. There's a number of different coin spots. Uh, and I think one of the difficulties when it comes to uh, having boomerang driver and it's also good for lucky seven as well it's just controlling your spot controlling the location you're at um, sometimes when the item boxes are too close to the start line you don't always have that access um, and able to control that but this is a great strat i have to give credit to lino uh he posted in er uh i think the, the morning of the new tour give him credit there uh and then i also have a second strat submitted by john boy so we'll go through here um, you're probably very familiar with these item boxes pretty early in the race. Uh, you can kind of see the ramp in the background. And um, this is a strat where you get an additional item box, which is massive in the game. If you can get an additional item box, that's one of the best strats you could possibly have. Getting a couple extra coins are good, but getting additional item box is always a very, very helpful strat. So um, just to kind of preface this, I did have to put smart steering on. Uh, I'm not sure if you can do it without smart steering, but I had a very, very difficult time trying to do it with smart steering on, which is normally how I have it. So I turned it off and uh, I could get it pretty consistently now. Um, it's not guaranteed. It's not perfect. Um, but I think if you get used to it, you can almost get it every time. Um, let me tell you what I'm talking about and then we'll talk about uh, what some helpful strats are on this. But go up this ramp, you want to hit a mini turbo right before the ramp and go far to the left and actually fall off of this bridge. Let's watch it. That's right. Uh, you respawn back in front of the item box so you can get that same item box twice. Let's watch it again. Fall into the water get your items going back through. And uh, here's another example of it. Fall into the water, you get your items, they all spawn, you get a new item box, completely brand new. There's uh, no, nothing lingers. It's actually eerie how they set you up right in front of this item box with the perfect amount of time for all, that, all those items to roll out and then you get an additional roll. So really helpful strats, almost like they did it on purpose. Uh, pretty crazy. I will say, um, again, smart steering off. You want to be able to mini turbo. Let's see if we can uh, get it here. You want to uh, send off your mini turbo right about here, right before the ramp. If you do it too late, you can go, still go over. Uh, there's, many there's one time where I did do this and I landed in the water and they respawned me on the other side. So you really want to like uh, be going at a pretty hard angle. If you notice, uh, I'm hitting like right before that um, uh, the embankment on the other side. So um, right here, I mean, you can kind of see it, but you're, you want to be far right and going pretty hard left um, into roughly the middle of that uh, that water jump. So Hopefully that's helpful. Give it a shot. Give it a try. It's great for boomerang. It's great for lucky seven um, because you're you can kind of sit back. It's it's very difficult if you're trying to front run. So you know if you've gotten a boom box on the first lap, it's probably one that I would maybe skip. I will say um, it is pretty low risk there. Um, you know if you if you go to the other side, it's not the end of the world. Versus if you've I think I'm trying to think of that uh, Chaco Island where if you go over, you, you get eaten by those uh, piranha plants, you fall down, and then they, you accidentally do it wrong, it's it's pretty detrimental. It actually costs you a lot of points. So this is pretty low risk. It's pretty easy to get. But I think if I was in first place on lap two and I just got a boom box, I probably would just go over. Um, it might be nice to get it again to get a coin frenzy. That's that's up to your risk and, and your, your appetite for willing to risk an awesome run. But there you go. That's part one. As I alluded to, there is a part two. This one is submitted by John Boy. Uh, for many of you who are very familiar with these coins on this ramp, uh, this is a pretty common strat, but uh, I always sometimes forget about it too. You can get more than two or three coins. Um, I did a number of times, not a lot, I'd say probably four or five times, and I could, I could only get, uh, I think, four coins. 
you might be able to get five, but here you go. Uh, you kind of um, submit a mini turbo, like right there in front of the coins. So for me, um, you kind of want to aim right for that uh, third from the left coin and try to submit that mini turbo one, two, three, four. So you're kind of like, see how like, literally parallel with that, uh, the end of the track. Um, in fact, I kind of go even back before I go forward. So it's a great additional strat to get, you know, additional two coins versus trying to go at it straight on. Great strat there from John Boy. So there you go. Strat of the week, Cheap Cheap Island. I'm an island boy. Hopefully that helps you. Hopefully that helps you get a couple extra points, get a couple extra item boxes and good luck and rank guys. Uh, the rundown to be later submitted today.